Hi everyone, I'm your Cricket Critic and today I'm going to be talking to you about a very popular bat from Pakistan. Uh, this is the MB Malik Sher Amin Cricket Bat. Uh, it's quite popular because uh, uh, I believe back in 2010 or 11, Shahid Afridi uh, scored one of his fastest centuries using a bat with the same stickers against India. So this particular bat has gained a lot of popularity since then. So this is one of the budget bats from MB Malik. Uh, it used to be graded as grade 3, uh, but I think it's somewhere between grade 3 and grade 4 now. Uh, from the looks, it looks like a grade 3 or grade 4, I believe. So it's one of their budget bats, it's one of their pocket friendly bats, it's quite popular because you don't have to break a bank. Uh, it's quite affordable and it gives you a lot of value for money. So this particular bat has got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 uh, and 6 and a half uh, grains. They're fairly straight and they're fairly evenly spaced. Uh, there's quite a few blemishes and there's a touch of hardwood on the left handers outside edge uh, It's quite a big bat on the edge. It's about 39 to 40 millimeters and on the spine. It's uh, 63 to 64 millimeters uh, the spine runs all the way into the toe and There's very little wood taken out so you can say there's a slight amount of concaving on it uh, the stickers I think are quite good uh, they're quite nice they're embossed and I believe they have stayed the same ever since the bat came into B uh, they haven't changed anything in these stickers uh, since uh, it used to be endorsed by Shahid Afridi uh, there's a ready to play written over here which you have to completely ignore because when this bat came to me it was not ready to play the edges were very sharp and there were deep seam marks from when uh, the bat had been uh, you know uh, they tried to use it uh, so this bat actually belongs to my teammate he gave it to me to oil and knock in I have since uh, oiled it and I have rounded the edges and I have knocked it in so now it can be used for nets and uh, some throwdowns and catching practice. It still needs time to open up and be match ready. So handle wise, it's got uh, thin to medium uh, and it's round. So personally, I feel that I could use a second grip on this, but it depends from person to person. I like my handles thick. So I would put a second grip on it, but it completely depends on uh, people. But it's slightly thin and it's round. Uh, weight wise, uh, in my hands, it feels like a two nine, two nine and a half bat. And on the scales, it's uh, two pounds, 9.3 ounces. So it feels its weight. It doesn't feel bottom heavy but it doesn't feel too much lighter than its actual weight so i would say it's an honest pickup uh it's i think partly because the spine runs all the way into the toe so it balances out the weight uh the press wise i really like the press on mb bats if you can hear it it's firmly pressed it's not too soft not too hard and you can see that the response of the mallet is pretty good even off center it's got pretty good response that's because there's not a lot of wood taken out uh, there's very little concaving so as you can hear the press and the sound of the mallet is really good needs some time to play in. and without further ado I'm gonna bounce an old ball on it followed by a new ball so this is with the old ball and the response is really good the sound I really like keep in mind the bat hasn't 
been opened yet so with time and patience it's going to open up and it's going to be really good but i already like what i see this is with the old ball i think this bat is going to be really special once it opens up and now with the new ball I'm not using any force and I can really see that the ball is absolutely pinging off the middle. The middle is quite big as well. It's quite wide and it's quite long. This is low and this is high. So a bat for all round play, back foot, front foot. This is going to be a really good bat. So it's not hard to imagine why this bat is so popular and MB is also a very popular company from Pakistan. I really like how they press their bats and they offer really good value for money. Now uh, as I mentioned before this bat belonged to my teammate and he uh, had someone bring it from Pakistan. It's really really inexpensive. It's probably around 8,000. 8, uh, give or take uh, in Pakistan so it's really really cheap and it's really good value for money I think uh, you know you can't go wrong with a bat like this doesn't matter how much money you have in your pocket if you have a bat like this in your hands it's gonna be really good and you're gonna score a lot of runs with it so there you have it this is the MB Malik Sher Amin cricket bat and if you like what you see please like and share with your friends and once again if you have any recommendations or anything that you want me to review just leave a message to me and I will try my best to get it done thank you